We often get disappointed in life, and knowing how to handle that disappointment can make the difference <laughs> between moving forward much more easily and feeling devastated. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I feel very disappointed in my shirt right now. Um, this <laughs> acting that was that was great my acting teacher. I'm, I'm so, Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. I'm Kathy Marshall from TheIntimacyDojo.com. Um, don't give up your day job. Never. Yes. Never. So Reed um, created cuddle parties, and he has a great line that helps a lot with disappointment. Would you like to share it? I don't know what line you're referring to. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Aww. That's so sweet. So when someone says no to us, it really is easy to feel rejected. It's easy to feel like, oh, they don't like me or don't want me. But we can turn that into disappointment, which we can handle better and handle that disappointment well if we say, thank you for taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What that ends up doing is you're telling your brain, this must be a good thing because we're thanking them for taking care of themselves. But the more important piece for me is you're encouraging people to say no to you when they're really a no. Because you don't want people, we've all had experiences where you invited somebody to do something with you and they said yes. And then while you were doing it, it was obvious it. that they didn't want to be there. Yeah. And it's a bummer of a time. So when people say no to you, you want to encourage that so that they don't pull that saying yes on you when they really should have said no. And then you have to go through all the, the bullshit of dealing with their mopey attitude. So you looking at people saying no as them taking care of yourself, themselves and saving you all that grief can for some people turn the idea of what rejection is around and then thanking them, you're telling your brain this was a good thing that they did, which can also kind of jujitsu some of the, the, that feeling of rejection. Yeah, it's, I love that phrase. It's very, very helpful. Realize that someone trusts you enough to say no, and that's a scary word in our society. To say no to something takes courage and trust. I encourage you to start with small things because the big things can still swamp you until you build up the muscles around this. Um, but practice with small things. If someone says, you know, no, I don't want to get lunch right now. Thank you for taking care of yourself. It does get your brain thinking in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, come back for our next video and in the meantime, leave a comment below. Once one time when you felt disappointed and this phrase might have helped, or do you think this phrase wouldn't help? Leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel. We'd love for you to keep in touch. Bye!